I don't like them. If there's something reminding me of work, then it's the dung fork. I don't believe in such things, but perhaps I could sell. It's too high. A good luck charm. Good luck is that nobody stole it. I wouldn't take a girl to a place like this. What's this? Does Brian have a hole in his pocket or what? They're pretty crumpled. Brian laid on them the whole night. I'd be lucky. Only if it were made of gold. I'm a mere stable boy. When I see a sad girl, I immediately wonder how to cheer her up. What would you say to a lucky horseshoe? It brings better days. Just take it and you'll see. It works. Are you serious? I don't believe in those old yarns. <laughs> You're making a mistake. A lucky horseshoe can change your life entirely. Hide it under your bed and you'll see. Well, thank you. But it won't solve my problem anyway. Poor desperate thing. She definitely won't refuse a stranger's helping hand now. Tell me, why are you crying? I am not crying, but I'm supposed to bring wine to the old master. Yet the lock is seized up or something, and I will be chided. Can't he get it himself? No, he can't. He stays in his bed all the time because he's seriously ill. Oh, I see. And there's no other entrance to the cellar? No, there isn't. Or maybe there is, but I don't know where. Huh? How come? Well, it's said that there is a secret staircase between the master's workroom and the cellar. Allegedly, it's there so our master could stay unseen by the lady when he goes down for a wine. He's really fond of drinking, but the doctor set him a strict limit, one glass a day. <laughs> That's interesting. So you don't know where exactly it is? No, I don't. And I can't go upstairs anyway, even if I knew it. Such a trivial matter isn't worth the upset. Show me the key and I'll help you. I'm not sure. I don't know you. What do you mean? I'm your new stable boy, am I not? You're a joker. Here you are. Take them, but quickly so that nobody sees you. The wax is too hard. I'd break it before I'd manage to make a good imprint. Wax would melt, that's true. But then it could spill out into my trousers, and I really don't want that.
the wax is too hot. I can't do that even if I wanted to. What are you doing with those keys? I only wanted to open the door. Now I'll heat them a bit. It helps to clean the filth, you know. No, I don't know. Just don't damage anything. Don't be afraid. I've done this before. I'm surprised. I've never heard of anything like that. Uh, for me, it's just an everyday routine. The door will be opened in a minute. Ouch. I didn't think it out. The keys are still hot. That wasn't too good. I already can't feel my... F what are you doing with those keys? I only wanted to open the... Don't worry, young lady. I'll just oil them and it'll go much easier. You're really lucky I'm here. I'm not so sure. Don't worry, it's almost done, I promise. All right, but please hurry up or I'll have problems. I'm glad I imprinted both keys. One never knows what might happen. I can't do that even if I... Brian will be so impressed when I show him. The only thing she could do for me is to go away. But she will... The only thing... <laughs> Brian will be... I can't do that even. <laughs> so, have a nice day. I'll drop by tomorrow. Hopefully, there will be a job for me. All right, but I can't promise anything. Our master won't accept just anybody. It wasn't a bad start. I wonder how long this good luck is going to last. Here it is, my pal, our ticket to paradise. Let me see. Hey, wasn't that my candle? No, but we need a locksmith. The kind who doesn't ask any questions. I know about one, if he's not in jail. Could he make a duplicate? Sure. So go and ask him. I've done enough already. 
Very well. I admit that. But I won't lift a finger for you at night. Just don't do anything stupid and everything will be okay. And go now, otherwise you won't make it. Jesus, you're worse than my mother. How do you know? <laughs> You've never met her. <laughs> Damn, you're right. As soon as, as soon he gets, as gets up, I'll catch a quick nap. nap. I think I this will be a pretty wild, wild night. night. When I'm staring at the ceiling, not able to fall asleep, I wonder whether it was such a good idea to flee to Plymouth. Maybe I'm just kidding myself about America. I guess it's the same mess there as it is here. But if I don't get there, or at least try to, I'll regret it for the rest of my life. I simply have to do it, no matter who I have to rob. Those fat, Cats on Paradise Street were robbing others so they could live like pigs in clover. Now they'll be the ones robbed instead. The time has come. What are you waiting for? Let's go! Or are you too scared? No, not at all. Well, maybe just a bit apprehensive. Okay, I'll go first, then you, you chicken. Are you waiting for something, Brian? I can't open the damned gate. These keys are good for nothing. Yeah, because those aren't the gate keys you dim with. Damn, I'm wasting my time here. Let's climb over the wall. I'll take another way. We'll see who gets there first. Okay. Let's meet at the back door. Be quiet. He could wake up. Who? The servant. He fell asleep on the terrace. Watch out. He has a gun. That's not possible. Trust me. He has a gun. We have to go through the main entrance. We can't. We only have the cellar key and the terrace door key. Hmm. That's too bad. Do you have a plan? We can go through the cellar. What are you talking about? The vault is in the workroom. Yeah, the maid said there's a secret passage. But we don't have time to search the cellar now. Oh, come on, pal. Can you imagine how much booze there is? If we don't find the passage, at least we can have a merry night. Then think what we could get up to after that. <laughs> All right, you've convinced me. It's been a long time since I had a good wine. Just don't break anything. Give me the keys. Exact copies of the maid's keys. Brian's locksmith did a good job. Still locked. This is a good joke. At first I blocked the door with the cork and now I've got to get it out. Hey Tim, what the hell are you doing? Let me be. I'll be there in a minute. Shake a leg for God's sake. Done. The cork is out. Hey, Tim. How long will it take? You're even slower than my granny. It's done. Let's go in. Wait. I'm going first. The 
It's pretty dark in here. So where do we start? I can't see anything. I told you this is stupid. So light the candle. We need light or we'll never find the passage. But won't the light be visible through the windows? It doesn't matter. We can cover them. Someone could come. Then we'll smash his face in and tie him up. What if he calls the police? We'll escape through the sewers. They'll shoot at us. Then we'll shoot back. But we don't have any guns. We'll steal some. And before you ask, we'll take some gold as well to buy the boat tickets. Do you want to know anything else? Just to make it clear, I am the brains behind this operation. Uh, yeah, right. Of course. Find a piece of junk and do something with the windows. Without light, we're lost. <laughs> now you're talking. Stinks terribly. There must be a cat somewhere around. This is the poshest piece of rag I've ever stolen. Telling me to cover the windows is easy enough, but how the hell do I actually do it? It'd be possible with a wooden board. The rag is useless here. There's probably rainwater in it. I'm not a guard. <laughs> Heavy as a bull. I can't move it. Telling me to cover the wind. It'd be possible with a wooden board. The rag is useless here. We can't go this way, nor through the front door, and all the wind. It's not worth the risk. We'll go through. I'm not going to chat with him now. 